Hi everybody, we're back in the parks today. It's uh, kind of a gloomy June day. But um, humid. Yeah, a little humid, and we're happy to be back. Uh, we've been just busy uh, with real life the last, you know, I don't know, maybe 45 days. Disney's and, not real life? I know, I know. <laughs> and uh, we're happy to be back. Uh, what else do you some. want to make sure we do today? You know, I just want to try some of the foods, and um, I know you were saying earlier you'd like to get at least one ride today, because sometimes we come and all we do is eat and drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah! But we're definitely getting on one attraction for sure. And you know what I like to do? I like to see if there's like maybe a new cocktail we haven't had in the park somewhere. Oh yeah, that'd be yeah. good. And there's some new churros out, so we'll bring that to you too. Let's go have some fun. that keeps us repeatedly coming back to the parks is the, their little twist on things like their churros. So this, for example, is a churro with maple sauce and bacon. It is a specialty churro. They don't always have it, but I have seen it before. I'm going to give it a try. To be honest, when it was handed to me, a little bit of the maple sauce got on my finger. Can, can I ask where, um, which churro cart we got this from? This is from the churro cart next to the... Um, like the Redwood Creek Challenge? Yes, yeah. where Rhea right. is. Right. And that one actually closes a little bit early. So if you want to try this, you want to make sure to get there a couple hours before the park closes. It certainly looks delicious. I'm crunching away. It's really good. The salty bacon with the sweet churro is always a good flavor combo. They are really, really good, but you know, I might like a regular churro better. The regular churro is just so spot on, but this one's good. I have something I've been wanting to try for a little bit. I have a good friend uh, in Oklahoma named Raymond who sent me this crazy TikTok about a churro that I didn't think existed, but sure enough, it does. So um, this is the... I'm gonna say it wrong, I think, because it's got a long name. Spicy, chili, cheesy churro. Right on. And uh, my friend uh, Raymond, I call him Tommy Guns. Um, Tommy told me to uh, try it and see what I think. He also said that he did not think it'd be very good. So we'll see. I, I appreciate the, um, the, the uniqueness of it, and uh, let's just see how it tastes. And it's a churro base with nacho cheese sauce and sweet lime sugar mm -hmm. with spicy Cheetos. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't know how. I'll be honest. I didn't expect it to taste good. Which is kind of good. It's got that spicy lime sugar. Oh no! Excuse me. The sugar. Lime, that's on it, lime sugar, I know. It complements the spicy and the cheese really good. I know, it reminds me a little bit of like when you get um, um, like lime rice with a little bit of like um, spiciness on it, salsa or whatever you put on it. It reminds me of that, and kind of, you know, corn flavor because of the Cheetos. And the churro is a corn base. Yeah, thing. right. Oh, I'm really surprised. Let's take another bite. Would you get it again? I think I would. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me say this. Definitely not for everybody. You want to try something different? Maybe kind of get outside your normal churro comfort zone? Give it a try. I'm not going to lie. I would get it again. I really kind of like it. Good, thank you. 
Uh, yeah, it's been a while. For sure. Wow. Okay. Great. Thank you. So this is the menu here at the uh, Magic Key Terrace. And I ordered the mint julep cocktail, uh, which has bourbon and apricot liqueur and looks very good. Um, what, what, what drink did you order, Monica? I got the Avalon Cooler, oh, you did. Okay. which is a French wine with vodka and St. Germain liqueur, yeah. strawberry puree, and lemon juice. Nice. And then we ordered uh, from the food uh, section the uh, Big Thunder Ranch Sliders. We're going to split that. But um, we have, like I said, we haven't been here since they remodeled it. But the food selection looks relatively the same from when we were here last time. However, the outdoor seating area uh, really is nice. They did a great job with this. It looks like they probably tripled the seating area, I bet. What do you think, Monica? Oh, yeah. Way more right? than that, even. Yeah. I love the peacock stained glass windows. Yeah, it's very pretty. I got the Avalon Cooler. Let's we'll see what we think. Ooh, so that's um, a straight white wine. <laughs> so let's mix it. It's pretty how they come, you know, separated, but. What's in it? It has a French white wine and um, elderflower liqueur, strawberry puree, lime, oh, and vodka. Oh, okay. Oh, it's really good. The elderflower liqueur is really strong, so it's got a nice floral note. And the strawberry puree sweetens it a little bit. I really like it. Nice. It's nice and refreshing and light. I ordered the mint julep, and it looks really good. And you may be asking yourself, well, can't you just get a mint julep at Disneyland? And the answer is yes, of course you can. However, this mint julep has Forrester bourbon and um, apricot liqueur. So this one is special. Ooh, apricot liqueur too. Yeah. Oh, that will be interesting. It smells so good with that uh, sprig of mint on top. So I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit. Let's see here. Oh man, that is excellent. You know what? The um, mint juleps across the way over there by the Pirates of the Caribbean are classic, but this one tastes great. Uh, I would recommend trying this if you're ever up here at the Magic Key Terrace. I feel like it is just a little bit more special than the ones at Disneyland. So we ordered the Big Thunder Ranch sliders. Uh, for anybody who might remember, Big Thunder Ranch used to have a barbecue place over there before Galaxy's Edge came in. So this seems like a throwback. The slider is short rib. And there's these roasted corn spears, which I'm super excited to try. Oh, interesting. They're, so they're hard. Oh, so, <laughs> so it's a, there's a solid them. cob in the middle, right? Yeah, it's solid cob. It's just tiny. All right, well, we'll just try something then. They're so good. I feel like you did that the hard way. Well, it's because it's hard to tell what's the hard cob and what's not. Got it. But, it's really, really good. It's really flavorful. The sauce on it is good. The grill is delicious. And now let's try the slider. So we got that short rib Man. in there. It was like pickled cabbage, maybe? Pickled cabbage, a sauce. It's very good, very flavorful. The sauce on the short rib is really good. We have park hopped over to Disneyland and we decided to stop here at the uh, Jolly Holiday to see what they had that we uh, have yet to try. This is a croissant muffin. So they take croissant dough and they wrap it in a circle in a muffin tin and it's filled with a lemon strawberry cream. 
So I'm excited to try that. You can see there's like sugar around the edges. Right, and this is one of their seasonal offerings for the summer. And the other summer seasonal is a cherry cream cheese hand pie. They don't call it cream cheese, they call it sweet cheese. Right. But um, that's what I basically expect it to be. And it's got little, I guess, cherry sauce on top. And then today, tonight is one of the pride nights. And so, and it's June, so there's also a pride cookie. And it looks good. I, um, me and Monica were speaking about the um, pride cookie and it is a bit of just their regular normal kind of sugar cookie with a with a pride chocolate emblem smacked on the middle in the middle. Maybe it'll taste delicious, but it yeah. does seem like we've come to expect more from the mouse. Right. And in fairness, they did have some other pride offering, but they were out. It was like a macaron maybe. Remember well, we yeah, but that wasn't rainbow. No, it was. Oh, that's right. It was a Mickey. It was a Mickey macaron and they were calling right. it. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we'll try and see, but yeah, it looks like a little bit like it was a, a last uh, minute afterthought to slap a little Pride Mickey on it rather than come up with a whole new creation. But we'll see. I'm excited to try this first. The croissant muffin with a strawberry lemon curd filling. Yeah. All right. Oh, so good. <laughs> no way, I expect you to break out a fork and knife and cut at your Oh no, it's yeah. just biting. Nice, no. good. Sauce and the peeling off the croissant. Oh it's right. It's like a cinnamon roll. Oh yeah, it's like rolled. It's very good. Is it nice and uh, flaky? You know, it is flaky. It's obviously, it's not like a muffin. Mm. It's not as airy as a croissant, but it's really good. I just want to chime in here real quick with the um, uh, the little lemon and, and strawberry um, croissant muffin. It is very delicious. It kind of has the consistency of a sticky bun. The whole outside, as you unroll it, is um, like glazed. It's sweet and buttery. It's delicious. I highly recommend this. If you're here, give it a try. Now I'm going to try the hand pie. This was my choice. I really love like cherry um, turnovers and cherry uh, pies. And this is supposed to be cherry and sweet cheese inside. And there's a nice, it may look um, chocolate on camera, but it's not. It's a very dark red uh, strawberry, or excuse me, cherry icing with little white chocolate crunch balls. Let's see what this is like. Mmm. It's really good. Mm. There's a lot of cheese and a lot of cherry inside. And the cherry frosting is excellent. Oh wow, this is nice. <laughs> mm. The little uh, balls give it a nice little crunch. This is very good. I'd pick this up too if you come by here. This is excellent. This is the pride cookie. There is a bite missing out of it. I took a bite, but we weren't filming. <laughs> so we're gonna do take two. It is a good sugar cookie. It's buttery, it has hints of lemon. It's everything that you would want in a sugar cookie. I am just a little disappointed because I feel like the mouse can do so much better. Yeah. The things we just had were amazing and you know, for these special nights, I'd just like to see them step it up a little bit. Yeah, more. I expect a little bit more from a pride cookie than just a regular cookie with a medallion slapped on the middle of it, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, that is a 500 pound Himalayan tiger. Some times Himalayan down here by the water, other times Himalayan over here by the alligator. Today, Emma's standing. And watch out what she do the crocodile. Ginger snaps. She is one of cookie. We're now entering the Indian elephant bathing pool and the whole herd is out today. That's unheard of. Feel free to take all the pictures you want. They all have their trucks on. And up ahead we have Bertha. She's an example of what happens when you stay in the shower for too long. Right now we're perfectly in dan
Oh no worries, you're every brave skipper to protect you. Tell me your ears, I'll scare them off. Um, that didn't seem to work. Um, um, plan B, plan B! I love you! You ought to be my parents! Next up is Pirates in the Caribbean. Hi everybody, we're ending our day here at the parks. It's been a great visit. It was so nice to be back after being gone for a while. Had some great food, uh, some really nice classic rides. It was just a great day. Surprisingly good churros? Yeah, I was really actually surprised with that one churro. I did not expect it to be good, but it was. We hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and hit that like button and the subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you real soon.